All right. All right. I'm just here finishing up uh, getting someone set up and training. And um, welcome, everyone. Welcome. Sorry for that delay. My name is Mark Fuller. This is Team Alliance. We're going to talk about some Forex stuff today. Um, one of my former students who um, I realize now is more into Forex versus what we do on Nadex. And he has some very interesting observations. And um, he asked me to do a video just based on uh, some of the questions that he was asking. So that's what I'm doing right now. So let me just read some of the things that he was talking about. Um, in regards to Nadex versus Forex, here are my observations. I've watched hundreds of videos on both Nadex and Forex. It always seems to me that for some reason people tend to make more money trading straight Forex. Is this true or do they just have a large balance to trade with? That's an excellent question. Excellent question. So let me see if I can frame a question around what he's saying. Um, then he goes on to say, also with Nadex, the concept is simple, but to be profitable and consistent is harder than it looks. And he's right. I can't tell you the number of times I've lost a Nadex trade in the last two or three minutes. I think both have their advantages and disadvantages, but would like to hear your thoughts. Part of my frustration is by far you tend to find videos where people are killing it with Forex, making life changing full time incomes versus on Nadex. I get the fact that you can risk more contracts, but I guess I'm asking since trading is a risky business anyway, is it better to be in the Forex market where you can let a trade run or Nadex where you can get killed by one tenth of a pip in the last second of a trade? OK, so I'm reading because I want to frame the question and put it in context so that I can address everything that he's mentioning. So basically, the question is. Is it better to be in the Forex market or is it better to trade the Forex market or to trade Nadex? That's basically what he's asking. Is it better to trade the straight Forex market or to trade on Nadex? Very good question. The reason that's an excellent question is because you have to understand what it is that you're actually dealing with. And I'm just, um, making sure one of my new students get, gets what they need. Okay, he should have it now. Okay. Let's get an idea of what the difference between trading on Nadex versus trading straight Forex is. Off top, when you're trading on Forex, you're utilizing a broker. A broker is not like how Nadex is. Brokers are oftentimes taking the other side of the trades that you're taking because they're allowing you to trade on margin, meaning that you can trade, um, they call them micro lots, mini lots, or standard lot sizes. The various lot sizes determine how much margin you're using, meaning what your leverage is. And I don't want to get all in the detail as far as Forex goals. Just look it up online. Start Googling and Look into Forex if you don't know what it is. But standard Forex, um, you have to determine what size leverage you want to use. So, for example, one to 100 leverage means that for every dollar of your own money that you're putting in your account, you can actually take a trade for 100 times that amount. One to 100. Then you got one to 10 leverage. 
You can do it at 10 times your, your dollar amount. And then you can do one to one, meaning that whatever your account size is, that's the number of lots that you can trade at that level. OK, so that's just an example of how you can utilize leverage. What leverage allows you to do is you're taking on more risk. Ultimately, if the market is volatile and there are bigger moves, but you're also multiplying your potential return in straight Forex because of that. A lot of times what people will do is set up their trades according to the way that they have their leverage set up in their account. OK. And what this does is it can open up the door to allow you to get into trades and to be in those trades until you exit them. So sometimes you'll take a trade and depending on what your actual profit target might be, meaning the point in the market where you're looking for price to go. That would be the profit target for your trade. Your stop loss would be positioned somewhere where you have some level of support or resistance in the market using a price level in the market that the price of the current market either has previously been and there's been some type of uh, buying or momentum that has come into the market so that the market bounces off of that level. And right now I'm talking in Forex terms. So I know that you guys are not used to me talking like this, but <clears throat> I'm very familiar with, with Forex. I came from Forex before I began to trade on the Nadex platform, which most people have. But understand that as far as answering his question, I, I, I did that just now to give you an idea of what Forex is like versus the Nadex platform. By now you should understand what Nadex is about. It's very simple when you take a trade. Each trade uses a scale of $100 for one contract. Out of the $100, you are taking one side of the trade, you're either buying or you're selling, and whatever you're earning is contingent upon where the market ends relative to the line in the sand or the strike price that you have selected. So you're risking whatever the difference is between $100 and whatever your earnings will be on that trade if you win. The difference is what you have at risk. So if you were to lose that trade, you would lose the difference between $100 and whatever your potential profit is. Okay? It's predetermined risk. You know in advance how much you're risking on a trade. This is what I love about Nadex. The fact that you can set up your trade, you can set up and position the way that you're trading very easily and put it simple in a way where you can understand how your trades will be set up and what you need the market in, in, to, to do in order for you to win your trade. That's a lot of information to have. That, this is why I love Nadex. Now, as far as larger account balances and, you know, if you have a larger sized account, you can do more with Forex versus Nadex. Well, you can have a large size account and on the Nadex platform, you just trade smaller contract sizes and you could, you know, sustain your account size and sustain losses for longer. So there really is no difference between Nadex and Forex as far as having a larger account size. The major difference is the way that you're going about trading, the actual way that you're trading. In, in Forex, you're taking trades with the anticipation of the market moving in the direction of the where you want price to go in order for you to earn profit on the trade. It's that simple. If, you, if you're buying, you want the price to go up. You know, the difference is that you can use stop losses and position your stop loss like you can move your stop up so that you can lock in a certain amount of profit so the market moves against your position and you get stopped out you'll get stopped out with profit because you adjusted your stop loss level so instead of having room for the market to move against your position once you get into profit you can actually trail your stop and move your stop up with the market hoping that the market will continue to trend in your direction without taking out your stop. Because every time that the market moves further in your direction, you can adjust the stop and trail it moving up or in your direction 
to lock in more profit on that trade. Like I'm very familiar with all of this. So I, I do enjoy talking about the differences because I'm explaining to you why I prefer Nadex. I'm not biased towards Nadex because, you know, I'm here to promote Nadex. I could care less what platform it was that we were using. It's what Nadex allows us to do that I really enjoy the most. It's what Nadex allows you to do as far as not having to compete with the platform itself. You're not competing with Nadex. You're taking the opposite side of a trade of someone else who's trading on the same platform. You see, there's a big difference between those two things. A lot of times when you're trading with a broker, you know, brokers tend to have just issues at times. That's the only way really I could describe it. They just have issues. If you've been with any broker for any length of time, you are familiar with the type of issues that you can run into. So you don't have those type of issues with Nadex because you're not trading against Nadex. You're not taking, Nadex is not taking the other side of your trades. You're trading against someone else on the platform, period. But anyway, so I probably actually need more time to delve into this. So I'm gonna break this video up, but this one right here will be the answer to that question that I, I basically framed from what he was saying, which is which one is better, Nadex or, or Forex? It really depends on your style of trading, I would say. If you're more like me, where you can interpret the market's behavior and the way that it moves, you can easily use the Nadex platform to set up trades for yourself that are gonna win and just earn your money and be consistent and watch your account grow. Or, you know, if you're using a larger contract size, you can just generate income and create your own paycheck very easily, week after week. You know, there's days that, that, that I go for without taking trades. Days. I don't have to trade every day, even though there's opportunity potentially every day because we're dealing with five minute binaries. So really, all you have to do is wait for the market to position itself to give you profitable trades, depending on what you're doing, of course. And as you do that, you can easily position yourself to just kind of receive what the market is willing to give. And that's kind of what it is that we do on Team Alliance. That's what I that's how I trade. I sit and wait for the market to give me money. And I'm saying I wait for the market to give me money because the market is going to ensure that I win the trade only by me interpreting the market's behavior correctly. You see, it's not up to someone. No one is deciding who wins the trades when you're trading binaries. The market is deciding who wins the trades. So you have to understand the way that the market works and you have to be aware and conscious enough of the environment of the market that you're in so that you can position yourself to capitalize using the binaries. That's what we do extremely well. That's the difference. When you're trading Forex, just straight Forex, you're dependent on whatever your methodology or your system is or you know the way that you're going about taking trades, but you're ultimately dependent on the market moving X amount of pips in order for you to get full profit on the trade. Sometimes you might take profit early. You could get stopped out if you're trailing your stop up. You know, the, if the market moves and responds to a news event while you're in the trade, which it very easily could do, you know, you can't do anything about it. You're in the trade. You're dependent on all of these different variables that take place that could move the market substantially against your position, even if you were in profit already. But because it didn't reach your profit target, you know, when I traded Forex, there were times where I was within five pips of the target. And if you're doing money management a certain way, like if you do your money management two to one, it means that you're setting up a trade where you're gonna earn twice as much as you're risking. But the only way to benefit from that risk reward is to leave the trade. This thing's still recording? You gotta leave the trade on. Um, so by leaving on the trade, it means you have to allow the trade to run. And there are times where you come close to reaching your profit target, it doesn't hit, 
you don't adjust your um your um what am i thinking of you don't adjust your stop and that trade ends up coming all the way back and getting stopped out i've been in trades like that too where i was this close to hitting the profit target left the trade alone some kind of news or something happened the market totally reversed and went the opposite direction and hit my stop loss and I was within five or 10 pips of hitting the profit target and earning twice as much as I would have earned over what I risked. Instead, I lost the trade and lost what I had at risk. And I came within five to 10 pips of hitting the profit target. So you see what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of variables that go into trading Forex. It's not, it's not just straightforward. When you're trading binaries, it is just straightforward. You got to be right about where the market is going to end on this trade right here, period. So your job is to understand and interpret the market so that you put yourself in position when the environment in the market is going to give you a profitable trade with ease. That's what we do on Team Alliance. All right. So hopefully um, this video was valuable. I am going to go into to this more about Forex and everything. I think this is a good subject to talk about because a lot of people are wondering, you know, about the difference between Forex and Nadex. Is Forex better? Well, my style is, is more fitted for Forex. I'm not really built to do binaries. Of course, you're not built to do binaries if you're not understanding and interpreting the market. You're going to lose. This is why you all lose. The, the, the majority of you who have tried doing binaries, who, who go back to Forex, the reason that you can't get it is because you're not giving yourself enough time to learn how to interpret the market and then apply that information specifically to binaries. That's what it is. If you do that, you'll position yourself to win with binaries. If you don't do that, you'll end up back in Forex. I can assure you of that. So, you know, hopefully this is valuable. Um, you know, that's my goal to continue to put out more valuable content, more valuable information that's relevant to what it is that we do in this industry. All right. So you want to get into training with us, reach out to me directly. You can send me a text message at 914-979-2317. Um, you can also send me a friend request on Facebook. Let me know that you want to get into training with us. Take advantage of the educational series um, playlist. The link for that is underneath this video in the description box. If you have an ask mark anything question, you can leave that as a reply on the video. And aside from that, those of you who are going to get into training with us, I'll see you soon. Everyone else continue to enjoy the content and I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Mark Fuller, Team Alliance. You guys take care. See you in the next video. Peace.